it's the morning of the mornings. I'm about to take my final exam in next school, which is called state exam. 6.51 in the morning. 12 questions, 4 hours. Let's see how it goes. Hi, sorry for being cropped. I wanted to update you that I took the state examination in Latvia and I passed. So I will graduate for sure in February and it made me really happy and excited at the same time. And I could barely caption the moment really because it's a three day exam process and you come out the first day with so much tension and the first day is the theoretical part and you just have to contain yourself and then continue for another two days and the third day is a patient examination thing and uh, the patients only talk in Latvian and uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to learn another language I honestly tried and even for me it's a little bit exciting sometimes the vocabulary doesn't seem to find its way into your mind but luckily I made it through and all of that is done and also what I've been realizing is that I have exactly three months now to my due date for the step 2CK 2CS? 2CK? 2CK and um, I haven't applied for the exact date yet maybe I can show you how you do that I already applied for the three months period so I have that for sure and I'm also receiving some new response for as to what I'm gonna do in the future I have some plans but haven't really received anything back but definitely I'll be around in Germany for a while after my graduation obviously see what the future holds for me and today is my first day that I'm gonna start again with the USMLE and once I've started the program and got it running I'll tell you the facts and I'll run you through it. So basically I already started yesterday with my study plan because as of now my daily um, daily study plan will be that I'm trying to do 40 you well questions a day and try at least half an hour of Anki every day so I'll be done anytime mid February because I've already done 50% of the you world question bank and what I do is I always go through the question try to take the right one and even if I got it right I still read through it so I know like everything um, it just takes a long while and it's so frustrating if you tick the box wrong and I have so many wrongs that I definitely need to have another round. But I'll stay optimistic. Oh, and I'm always squinting my eyes because I need glasses, but I find it easier to read off the screen without them on, so that's why I'm doing this all the time. I think I need new prescriptions anyway. What I look in at a, in a question is red flags always, like mm, something suspicious is going on. I think in medicine always suspicious is there something grows too quickly or you gain weight too quickly or lose weight too quick quickly anything abnormal and <clears throat> i wish the questions were as easy as to only find out there is a red flag in the question but i think um it requires you to do a lot or know a lot more than that but yeah but basically i always try to read this and then I'm gonna be honest with you, it take, it's taking me a hard time because I'm not used to these MCQs. It's giving me a hard time because I'm not really used to the MCQ, but I think once you get the hang of it, it's gonna be like a routine thing to do. And I'm hoping for it to kick it. 
By the way, how convenient. I caught a cold. It's Monday, January the 13th. At least it's not Friday the 13th. Oh, I have to sneeze. I hate this m moment in which you go through the question and you think, okay, I got the right answer. And then last minute you choose to take another answer choice. And then it was the right answer choice from the beginning on and you click it wrong now. It's so frustrating. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, from now on, I'm just gonna take... If I have no idea, I'll just take the first guess I had. <sighs> Guys, I just finished my vlog. I started just yesterday and it's, again, 50% only. What am I doing? Okay, the next one's gonna be better. <laughs> Good morning, I already forgot what day it is today but I'll edit while I'm cutting the video because I was cut off the water yesterday um, I'm gonna take a shower first thing this morning and then continue studying and I even haven't finished my last vlog yesterday I didn't even fulfill the requirements I made for myself I'm hoping to be able to just added on today's work that's what I'm gonna do all right day three of the study plan and I got homemade muesli I just uh, smushed a little bit I you know made a sludge of this banana put some milk and boiling water on it and then I also melted one piece of 70% dark chocolate, oatmeal, and of course my coffee. Mm. And then later on, it's back to studying. By the way, yesterday, I don't know if you know her, but Nikki Tutorials uploaded a video saying that she was transgender. And it really surprised me because she said she was really relieved to now be able to say it. I, and all this time I didn't know, like I didn't even realize that she kept something secret that she felt a little bad about it and then also I never ha would have assumed that she was a guy before that but for me it doesn't change anything before I thought she was a girl, now she is a girl <laughs> I was just a really surprise and I love her spirit, she's really entertaining There's been a small increase in my percentage. The last block I did was up to 52%, which is still very depressing, but at least it's going upwards. Hmm. Can't go zero to 100 in like one day, right? <laughs> it is 11.30 p.m. And I think I'm done with the questions today from you all. I even managed to match up some of the questions I missed yesterday. So in total today I did 47 questions and either I'll just listen to the Harry Potter audiobook or I'll do some more Ankies. <laughs> haven't decided yet. Good morning in the morning. I already made myself a cup of tea. And uh, t my day is gonna be starting a little differently from the other days today because I'm gonna do a little bit of Anki first and then gonna do your questions. Now, if you think that this routine seems a little boring to you, 
It might be a little boring and frustrating, but I'm trying to keep myself motivated with tea and cooking. And if I get back to Germany, I'll do a little bit of gym as well. Oh yeah, and by the way, since I'm gonna leave this apartment, I'm selling all my stuff that is belonging to me because I don't want to bring anything back to Germany. So I'm making a little bit of money lately, so um, at least that's good for me. <laughs> and uh, so I'm meeting up with people. I also have to take a few more pictures to put it up on sale again on the internet. So um, this all is also a little bit time consuming, but I don't want to be complaining since I passed the state exam. Okay, so instead of doing the anchor files, I ended up sorting out all my uni stuff instead and look how much uni stuff I've gotten. These, these two large bags of trash, it's all uni stuff, just print out works, everything in paper. I couldn't believe it myself, but I still got all the binders here. I'm gonna try to sell them. See, right here, and a couple of more, and oh boy, that was a lot. I put down to paper. Because I've sold my Nespresso coffee machine, I'm on my way to buy some regular coffee. So for the first time in a very long time, I managed to almost finish in time. It took me one hour and 39 minutes, which I'm glad about now. And now I'm going to submit the blog. And I'm a little bit nervous about it because I think I've done better than 50%, but I'm still below average. Let's see. Oh, I'm right in average. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 70% oh my god I didn't even realize it I managed to get my goal what 70% and you know I made two mistakes they were so stupid acute cholecystitis what the fuck how did I get this question wrong you know I always think okay I got the right answer and then I go through the questions to them again and I'm like oh no no this was only to confuse me the actual answer is so much more different from the obvious answer which I took at first and then I take the more complicated answer and then it turns out to be the more obvious one to be right and I'm like why am I doing this to myself but at least I still managed to get the 70% all right, so if I had to mention something I changed in my study routine from before is that I stopped watching these OME videos. Um, I might watch them again if I feel like I need a little bit of revision. I liked it first because it gave me a little bit introduction into the topics on each and every one, but I don't know, I just felt a little bit more comfortable with UWorld and if I need a little bit of a mix up, I'll just do the OME videos again. And now the video also has come to an end because basically you got a glance at my daily routine. So I think it's gonna get boring to tape it all over again. But I will update you nevertheless if I've accomplished anything new. And I will continue vlogging and maybe you're gonna see a little bit of different content as well on my channel. Let's see. Feel free to comment down below and follow me on Instagram. Yasmin Zawa 1102. <laughs> yeah, Yasmin Zawa 1102. See you soon. Bye.